Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's day seven. We're doing the uh, two week challenge. The weather isn't as nice as it was last week, but we're gonna get through it. We got a lot to do this episode. Countertops, um, storage, electric, more electric and more electric. So check it out and here we go. Danny's working on the countertops. They are looking nice. Yeah. And they are new carpenter. <laughs> it's day seven. So we got our framing done for our cabinets yesterday. And now we're gonna lay the countertops on. I am doing another layer on the kitchen countertops. We didn't like the way it turned out before. So we're doing a different color. Um, it was just a little too light and we figured you'd get stains on it. So we're changing it up. I'm gonna take a moment and just show you some progress. We did the uh, siding here. We're not 100% done, but these were just those fence posts. And then the floor looks nice. And then here I attach my, uh, so I countersunk these screws and I use my uh, inch long self tapping screws. You can get them at any hardware store to go into the metal. So I did it here and I did it along the sides, down on the bottom. Here's all along the sides there. I laid this one by frame on top, just screwed into this. And then I use my pocket drill down here on the bottom to get them into the slot so those go down. Those actually go down into the wood. Same with here, down in. And then we got our hole cut. So that will run our gray water and our sink will sit here. Yeah, I'm just cutting and crimping wires, putting the uh, terminals on them so I can attach them to my uh, little fuse panel here. Six, it can hold six accessories on that thing. And it's really cool because it came with all these, which is really cool. It has just about everything that you need. got the sink pump and mm -hmm. I am um, going to drill the hole for the sink here and the faucet here. Here's our faucet. Pretty cool little spigot and Danny made this sink so it was just this little pot and then she cut the hole out and put in the bar sink strainer and I'll show you the rest of the plumbing over here that we got flanged tailpiece here so that has that little flange that goes there then we got this little adapter that adapts this quarter inch tube inch and a quarter down into this little receiver and from there we have a flexible tube that's going to drain out and then down out the van. We're working on countertops. So we just put liquid nail down and underneath I did some countersink holes pretty deep. And then we're just going to use these little screws and just attach it. But the liquid nail alone should hold it pretty well. Now we're going to glue this thing in. We made sure it fits. And it's just going to sit right on top of the countertop. Yes. Alright, now we'll check the weight on there. See how it looks underneath. Show you guys the underneath part. So we attach our sink pump. One line will go into the bottle. One line will run to our faucet. And then this here will just drain down and out to that hole. And then we just use these six gallons, so we'll have 12 gallons of fresh water in here. And we're still gonna frame all that cabinetry out, but looks pretty sweet. Let us know what you think of that sink faucet setup. There's the faucet. 
Danny's got the weight in there. We're here now at day eight. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas, you filthy animals. This is how the van coops do Christmas. <laughs> Danny's putting in the sink, faucet, and the sink, and the tubes, and the plumbing. It's looking good. Put it in backwards, but that's another another problem for later. On my ground connection for my battery. I've done this one, I just cut and crimped. I use a lot of electric tape because it's supposed to be a black cord, but I'm saving money, I'm not buying one. And then I crimp my uh, terminals just with a vise. I just give it a good crank. Oh. After you break the vise, your father-in-law's vise, you get a nice crimp. So I'm gonna tape it and then I'm gonna create a ground connection on my battery. All right guys, so this will be my uh, ground connection to my battery. I just taped it black. Um, so I'm gonna connect it to the my marine terminal here that I got, and then I drilled a hole, and I put a bolt through the body of the van down in here, and I just literally will attach each end, and then we'll have the battery grounded, and I'll ground to this with my bolt and that'll cause a solid ground and then we can start wiring up more electronics. But also you can see we got our inverter. We're gonna to decide to put the inverter in here. We might cut that out here in a sec. Danny's traced it already. And then that'll look sweet. So making some progress here on Christmas day. Hand flip. We weren't sure if it could flip because of the roof. But we might put it on a piano hinge and have that flip that way. To give you a full L there, to huh? give you a full L, but then also be able to get in and out stealthily to the back. And, show. and right now we're working on taking this off. This only comes off with two screws. We realized that we wanted to put the inverter inside there because the wires are super big and it's not that pretty. It's like bright orange. So we put it back there and we're just going to cut out a little hole for it like we do in our van. All right, here's the Christmas day progress. We got our countertop attached. We got the weight on. We just glued it on there. Uh, we got that countertop on. We framed out our sink area. I'll brighten that up a little better. And we got our sink and faucet on there. So you can see that little faucet. And today we got some inclement weather. So we've just been kind of working on the blog and stuff, but we're gonna, I'm gonna wire this real quick. So I got my charge controller and I got some eight gauge wire here. And I'm gonna wire just a little bit of this up. We're still waiting on the solar panel, but I'm just gonna get started on this. I also got some battery terminal ends, thanks to the friendly folks at Napa. Okay, so now I am taking my cut wires that I put my terminals on. You can see them down there. I'm running them through the side here. And then I'm putting them, I'm going to have the charge controller right here. This is the cable for the solar. So it's all going to come down. Since there's a USB outlet on the charge controller, I'm going to try to somehow utilize that so we can, so it can be convenient for everyday use. Got all my wires into my charge controller. I got all my terminals cut. I got them all into my load and my battery. So now I'm going to plug in the negative to the battery and see what the and see what happens here. All right, I just connected my ground cable and my display turned on. I got 12.6 volts here. I'm going to now pop a fuse into my fuse box and see if my sink pump works. So before I throw the fuse in the sink, I need to wire up my uh, little control panel here. So I'm going to connect all these wires to all these wires back here. You can't really see them, it's too dark. But yeah, that's the next project. Then I'll try to turn on my switch because my sink will be controlled by a switch here. Okay, so we've wired our sink pump and the other accessories, but the sink pump's the only one that's hot and live right now. And you'll notice it works. 
So that's a success, so now we can put our tongue and groove walls on the other side. All right, it's day 10 and we're gonna start this siding. We've already cut this. And um, so we're gonna do the whole um, tongue and groove paneling up this way. And this is going to live on the side of the cabinet that we're gonna build here. So that's why that's just hanging out kind of loose. We finished the wiring yesterday, so now we can go ahead and put this paneling on and make it look pretty. Progress is coming along. We're still just now, we are marking where the windows are so we don't drill through the windows when we put our cabinets on. <laughs> Window insulation and covers going in. Ooh, it's starting to feel a little more cozy. Ooh, instant warmth, Danny claims. <laughs> we got the wall all finished. Now we're going to figure out how we're going to build some tiny little cabinets over here. So we finished the wall. Now we're working on our back cabinets. Danny's screwing some stuff. So we'll show you how the progress comes along back here, but we are moving along today. Yeah. Okay, here is some cabinet, our back cabinet progress. So we're also gonna have this little bit of storage up top here. And then we're gonna have three open storage is here and then this is just going to be a flat piece of wood that kind of lets you put stuff in between out back behind that danny's just tightening up it's the end of day 11. and it's about to snow in the next day's forecast yeah it is lightly snowing you can't see it on the camera but it's a tiny bit so we're going to clean up the solar panel came in today yay so we so we are gonna put that in on the next um, video. So stay tuned for that. If you don't know how to do solar, we will teach you how to do solar because it is so easy. Don't be scared. As always guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time at the VW Van Build.